So you now know the basics of After Effects because you watched my last tutorial. You now want to know how to make viral TikTok style edits such as this. Well, you came to the right spot. So I already have the audio imported. This is what the composition looks like. It's 1080 by 1080. Frame rate is 30. That's my duration for now. Now that we have our composition, it's now time to mark the beats. I, I now have my beat marked. The ones with orange is where new clip starts and the ones where red is where we loop the edit. So now that we have all of our beats marked, now you're gonna need to select your clips to import. We're gonna be using two clips over here, so let me get those. When you are getting your clips, you're gonna hit Command Shift D to cut the clips and you're just gonna move them along with where the clip starts and with where the clip ends. Now that I have all of my clips, I'm gonna resize them. I'm gonna select both clips and I'm just gonna scale them so that they're perfect within the square. Now that I have them perfectly, I'm gonna select the first clip and then I'm gonna change the position. But I'm gonna move around to see that she stays within the square because that is important. Now for the second clip, I'm gonna do the exact same. I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard for position and I'm gonna position her so that she's in the center constantly. Now that we have both clips, you would realize that the audio from the clips and the audio that you have are now both coming out. So you're gonna hit both clips, you're gonna carry it down and you're gonna carry it down on audio. You're gonna go to audio levels and you're gonna go all the way down so that we cannot hear absolutely anything. Select both clips, hit motion blur and hit frame blending twice. That just makes our clips way smoother when we add Twixter. Now you're gonna click on the clip, command shift C to pre-compose, move all attributes to our new composition. Okay, gonna do the same for the second clip. Now that both clips are pre-composed, we're gonna add Twixter to it so we have velocity. You're gonna go to effects and presets, search for Twixter. Twixter Pro, you're gonna drag and drop it onto your first clip. Now with this Twixter, we're gonna click on image prep, change it to contrast slash edge enhance, frame interp, motion weighted blend, warping inverse with smart blend. Gonna click on speed, make it 145. Now you're gonna go to every single beat that you mark, gonna hit on the first clip, hit U, and go to every single beat, hit the diamond icon over there. It's gonna go black, but don't worry, it'll be fine. Now go into the middle of every single one of those keyframes and change the speed to 60. Now we have all of our keyframes, but the Twix is not gonna be smooth enough. So we need to select all of these, right click all the keyframes, Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease. You're gonna go to the Graph Editor and you're gonna select all the top keyframes. With the top keyframes, you're only gonna grab one and then you're gonna bring it down. On the other side, you're also gonna bring it down. Now you're gonna go to the bottom keyframe, select them all, drag them all, and you're gonna pull this out and this out too. Exit the Graph Editor and this is what your edit is looking like. Now that you have your Twixter, you're gonna need to do the same for all the other parts. Now this is what our editor is looking like for now. Now we're gonna add zooms. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, new, null object. You're gonna connect the first clip, use the pick whip and put it on the null object. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit scale on our keyboard, hit the stopwatch on scale, go to the first beat and mark it as um, one, one, five. You're gonna mark it as, as 115. You're gonna move the Cree frame and you're just gonna move it a bit over the beat. It doesn't have to be directly on the beat otherwise it's not gonna be smooth. You're gonna add a new null object and you're gonna pick with this null object to that null object. You're gonna hit P on your keyboard right on the beat. You're gonna hit scale right on the keyframe, hit the stopwatch icon on scale, go to the very next beat and you're gonna change the scale to be like 89, doesn't have to be perfect. Now that we have the two main keyframes that we're gonna use, we're gonna add a graph editor. Select the first keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Gonna go to the graph editor. We're gonna change it to a speed graph this time. 
with the speed graph you're gonna make it peak just a little bit not too much otherwise it's gonna be a little choppy we're gonna do the exact same thing for this other keyframe now you're gonna hit new null object you're gonna pick with this null to there but this time you're gonna copy these keyframes command C and paste it right on the beat command V you're gonna move this keyframe a bit in but this time for this one you're gonna hold alt grab the last keyframe and move it a bit over the beat you're gonna go to the exact beat new null object and you're gonna copy the second keyframes command C now for this you're gonna alter it you're gonna hold alt last keyframe and you're just gonna repeat the same thing I just realized one thing I forgot to pick with these I'm just gonna alter the zooms to be a bit bigger you don't have to now that we have all of these I'm just gonna move them a bit closer to keep everything tidy because now you can do the exact same thing but with the second clip so I'm gonna select all of these keyframes command D move them over above the second clip gonna move it up gonna pick up this first clip to this now that we have all of the zooms it is now time to add the shakes this is very important you better listen during these shakes okay please do we're gonna do a y shake at the beginning of each clip so you're gonna select the first clip carrot up twitch to pro what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to effects and presets search for motion tile drag and drop it onto your first clip you're gonna change output height to 200 output width 200 mirror edges you're gonna search for directional blur i'm using bcc you can use the normal directional blur drag it and drop it onto your clip now we're gonna change the angle to zero because it's gonna be a y shape so we're gonna change the blur amount to 100 hit u on your keyboard go to maybe just the little frames forward it doesn't have to be a set number but just not so it's off but it's like less than half change the second keyframe to be zero select both keyframes go to the graph editor change it to a value graph select the graph and your graph has to look exactly like mine now that's just the blur we need the actual shape you're going to go to effects and presets and you're going to search s underscore blur mode curves drag and drop you're going to put s underscore blur mode curves right above bcc directional blur you're going to change the shift y to negative 540 hit the stopwatch but you're going to go to wrap y and you're going to click it on reflect you're going to hit u on your keyboard go to where the directional blur ends and you're going to change the shift y to zero you're going to select both keyframes easy ease them go to the graph editor and your graph should look like this that's what your graph should look like we now have our basic shake ladies and gentlemen and non-binary and every person of color and yes everyone's included thinks now that we have our shake we're gonna just copy it and paste it onto the other clip so you're gonna click motion tile and you're gonna hit shift click on bcc directional blur you're gonna command c go to the beginning of the clip and then command V. Now you have shakes on both of your clips. This is what the edit is looking like for now. Now that we have the edit, we have the edit itself. We're gonna add a lot of things to make the edit way better. You're gonna select everything that you have, not object, clip, everything. You're gonna right click, pre-compose into one layer. You're gonna command D and then you're gonna move it to the very first. Literally right above because remember I made the null longer. So here. Now with that we're gonna add panning. Right click, new, adjustment layer. Bring it right above both clips. You're gonna go to fix and preset and you're gonna search for S underscore shake. Drag it and drop it onto the adjustment layer. You're gonna change the amplitude to 0, 0,23. Change the frequency to 2. This is what the panning looks like.
I know you can't really see panning. It really doesn't matter because panning is there. You don't see it, but it's there. It really does add a lot. So now we're going to add a black flicker. You're going to right click, new, solid. Now you're going to carry it down on the solid. You're going to carry it down on transform. You're going to hold the alt and hold on opacity. You're going to type in wiggle. 15 comma 20 space negative 90 that's what the expression should look like this is what it looks with the flacking what the what, the what? This, is, this is what it looks like with the flicker now we're going to add coloring hit new adjustment layer and you're going to import the coloring from my pay here okay this is not a coloring tutorial. You're going to import the coloring from my pay hip. I'm having a New Year's sale, 25% off my coloring. It's lasting till 3rd of January, so get it while you can. We have 10 different coloring. They're amazing, trust me. And yeah, this is what the final edit is looking like. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. New tutorials coming more often. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>